Back at it again at Krispy Kreme. Speed metal, like traditional heavy metal, but faster, Whee! aka more clean and melodic. Originated from the 70s, new wave of British heavy metal roots. As well as hot rock. And heavy metal. Main influences include La Sepin's Communication Breakdown, Black Sabbath's Children of the Grave, Deep Purple, perhaps the most influential, with Fireball. Highway Star. Speaking. Queen Stone Cold Crazy also influenced thrash metal. And Sure Hot Attack. Heavy metal and new album influences include Judas Priest, Exeter, and Painkiller. Motorhead's Overkill. Iron Maiden and Venom laid the faster pace for speed metal. Then Raven released the first speed metal album, Rock and Two Drop. Which still has a bit of traditional heavy metalness in it until 1982's Wiped Out, sounding more speed metal. Along with Running Wild's Rock from Hell EP, Exodus Heavy Metal Maniac, <laughs> dropping the speed metal bomb into the metal community, and Slayer's Show No Mercy. <laughs> and Andrax Fistful of Metal. Falling under the speed metal tag, bands include Anvo, Acid, Razor, etc. Power metal. Aha! I found it! The Book of Metal! I take 80s beat metal and 70s heavy metal. Might as well take new wave of British heavy metal. Gotta tell my friends combine these together while we slay the dragons. History can date back to Rainbow and Dio with their Holy Diver. Rising and kill the dragon. And more dragons! With their medieval and folk theme lyrics, Power Metal also took Rob Halford's powerful vocals as a main vocal element. Dude, metal singers can't even sing, they just screaming, rap. No. Fast forward to the 80s with Iron Maiden's influencing Power Metal. Other influential bands include Manila Road. Warlord Man of War Etc. Then, the first ever power metal band, Halloween, released Keeper of the Seven Keys Part 1 from the Wizard Part Beginning the power metal journey, bands include Hammerfall Rhapsody of Fire Ed Guy Etc. 
Industrial metal. A fusion of heavy metal and industrial music, like dark and electronic music with metal, and also tools hitting random mechanical objects as a bead or a sample. Developed in the late 80s, when metal started fusing with other genres, bands like Ministry. Got flash. Nine inch nails. Laid the blueprint for the genre. Then in the 90s with Melon Manson. KMFDM. Pitch shifter. Made the genre popular. Modern bands continue experimenting and adding other music elements. Bands include Fear Factory, Ramstein, Rob Zombie. Post metal. If you don't know what post rock is, it's basically quiet, loud, quiet, loud music. And post metal has even more experimenting. <laughs> Early pioneers on neurosis with souls at zero, taking sludge, prog, and psychedelic elements and fuses it with ambient section. <laughs> And Isis, aka Celestial, took influence from Neurosis and got flesh. Release Sawblade. <laughs> the Red CEP. <laughs> Evolving the genre. Then the 2000 Celestial. Yeah. Oceanic. <laughs> that really has the post-metal sound. Call of Luna with Salvation. Somewhere along the highway. Neurosis with Sun That Never Sets. Other bands include Rose Edda. Intro Knot. Year of No Light, etc. And that's part four of different male subgenres. Haven't done this in a while. <laughs> Feel free to comment down your band or add your infos down in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.